You're about to learn how to create the most potent form of pine needle tea with the least amount of effort in the least amount of time. So go ahead and grab yourself some pine needles. And for this method, you will want to strip those needles off the branch. Uh, if you checked out the uh, previous videos I've done on making pine needle tea, it's absolutely no problem just to kind of throw those little branches into the pot with it. But for this method, you want to be able to strip those off. And uh, it was uh, Denis and myself yesterday that just discovered this method. I mean, there's nothing really too crazy about its discovery, but what was happening is we were leading a plant walk and we wanted to serve people, uh, those that were attending, uh, a tea from some of the fur the herbs that we're going to be talking about so we quickly grabbed some pine needles we came to the shop we're looking at our time we're like wow we got to be back up to the location in no time so we didn't have time to kind of you know let the water come to a boil do a nice little simmer strain it off and so Denis got this idea of throwing it into the blender and wow the result created this absolutely most vibrant potent yet delicious pine needle tea. So that's exactly what we're going to learn here today. So I've got a kettle that has just been brought to a boil. Taken that off. I have stripped the pine needles off their branches uh, and I gathered a, a number of different pine trees. There's a park near my house where they have ponderosa and white pine and mugo pine and lodgepole pine. I just grabbed a little bit of each of those. All those pine needles can be used interchangeably. They've all got the same properties and there are no toxic pines. So depending on how much volume you're gonna make will determine how much you want to throw in there, how potent you want it. Uh, I've got a nice good handful. Uh, it condenses right down and I'm gonna do a little bit more than a liter. So first things first is we get a blender and we're gonna toss that in. We're gonna pour the hot water on top already you can see the pine needles reacting to the hot water they're going that vibrant green color we're going to throw this on quick and give it a nice good blend now you do want to just kind of pull the top off just slightly you don't want to have it uh, too much pressure in there if you're blending anything hot uh, kind of the the gas the reaction will tend to kind of poof things up so give it the ability to kind of release as you blend. We're going to start on low. Yeah, so you could see some just kind of immediately spurt it up there. Blend on high for a few seconds as I did, and then get a strainer, any kind of strainer will do, a nice fine mesh. Oh my gosh, wow, just the vibrancy of that. Check this out. Look at the green color, look at the foam coming off that. This is unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. Have you ever seen a pine needle tea that vibrant green? And boy, wait till you taste it as well. Absolutely incredible. Now you can enjoy as is, or yesterday I had a little bit of spruce tip infused honey that I combined it with. So it was a truly wonderfully delicious uh, conifer drink with pine and spruce of which spruce actually also itself has a high amount of shikigami acid, which is one of the kind of compounds that a lot of us are after when we're drinking pine needle tea that gives it its antiviral properties and helps inhibit uh, respiratory viruses. Uh, great for the immune system, just a great overall tonic. Uh, only word of caution around pine needle tea is if you're pregnant or wanting to conceive as a female, do not consume pine needle tea, uh, otherwise, yeah, enjoy. Here we go.